What's up guys? Today I'm going to be making me dinner because why not? Anyway, I've just done a very torturous job of building my Queen Anne ship in the other room and that was awful. At the end it was. I ended up destroying a piece because I couldn't fit it on. It's nothing to do with them, it's me, I'm stupid. So, just want to make um, a video about why I eat in the morning mostly. I'm not going to, I've already had my breakfast, but sometimes I have wheat and bakes and cornflakes now and again on the weekdays. The weekends I have like either Cocoa Pops, Crave, um, Well, Weetos here and um, Cookie Crisp. Those are the main weekend cereals I'm having, but for yesterday and today, I've had them because I'm trying to treat myself. So, um, let's get started. So, um,. Um, I make a cheese toasty, which is a UK version of uh, grilled cheese. Instead of usual bread, I, tend, I now use um, Warburton's Thins, which uh, it's a thin equivalent to normal bread, except um, this is paper thin, not quite, but it's thinner than normal bread. Can you see, I don't know if you can see me, but yeah, and I'm going to be uh, making a toasty out of this, so... Put that onto one side. I'm sorry to show you this. I just thought this might be useful to know. These are the toasty bags I use all the time. I always reuse them. This is why they're a mess. I apologise for burning your eyes. I usually spread it with olive spread, but today I thought I'll show you this. I usually have Morrison's, but um, I would guess that there wasn't any, so my mum bought me these as an alternative. I don't really care, really, um, what brand. The brand doesn't matter, but, yeah. Anyway, next off, um, I tend to have olives as well, especially Crespo olives, which are beautiful. Beautiful. I my mouth waters every time I look at this. Mm. Smelling it, even smelling it's just heaven. Vegetables are hell, but I mean I eat them, but yeah. Um, what else? I have these things. My mum eats these, but I've actually tried these. They are actually nice. They're called. Red onion and um, rosemary sausages. I've completely. Hang on. At the Linda McCartney's six vegetarian red onion and rosemary sausages. Meat free pioneer since 1991. Well, before I was born, so yeah. Yeah, for once I'm going to stand up for this sodding video, so yeah. Anyway, what else, what else do I have? Um, I'll tell you what I do have, and I really love this. Finlanders Fine Foods Venison Pate with Cranberry and Cherry Brandy. Cherry. Yeah, Cherry. Cranberry and Cherry Brandy. This stuff's really nice. Um, I spread it on cracker bread. Right, eat a whole grain cracker bread. Good for you. So pretty much my dinner's healthy. Tea, my mum my cooks me tea. And 
Yeah, I know this sounds pathetic for a 24 year old to have his mum cook meals, but I guess it's a custom in Britain, but I don't want it to be. I won't be able to do it myself, but I don't want to. Yeah, I know. Yeah, say what you like, but that's just who I am, whatever. And for pudding. I sometimes have either strawberry shortcake corner yogurt or corner toffee hoops. Today I'm having toffee hoops, so leave this out. Put this back for tomorrow's dinner. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to need. I might have some ham as well, but... So, is, um, these are the ingredients for my healthy dinner. The peaches aren't part of it, by the way. That's for someone else. Um, yeah. Let's get started. So, first off, I'm going to spread my butter on this um, bread that I've got. Um, I'm not sure where the best place to show you. I can always put the camera there where the rosemary sausages are. Just bear with me while I move the camera over there. Bear in mind that um, my battery is going to run out soon so don't be upset if I don't um, do the whole video of me preparing my food, but I thought to just start it off. So we've got go on spread. Um I don't I think it's fine filming it at that end. So I'll go and get a knife and um start spreading my this is how I spread my butter, you just go like you just cut cut it up, spread, turn spread so it's like um an art form really i need to, i could be a chef when i'm older but who knows in the future i might be and then just swap these over to apply a bit more butter on there okay it's fine don't panic, people. It's fine. I won't die. Don't panic. Treat the process times three, four, whatever. If I count the first, count the first one, then times it by three. Then it's all like four slices. So it's like two toasties. Oh, actually, forgot, actually, I did forget to mention that I need to put cheese. So this is the cheese I use, mozzarella by Morrison's, for strength of one. That's what's going to be on top of the toast. Well, not on top of the toasty, but it's what's going to be in the toasty. So I just like, oh, tell you what's. Used to be important. I need to wash my hands. Sorry, I've got one camera, so just have bear with me. I mean, I could use my iPad, but I don't know about the quality of the video for that. Here we are. That's done. Next thing to do is just I go apply a cheese. See, I find that you put too much cheese on, it sort of oozes out, but, but um, that's actually quite good. I mean, you can use um, no butter for this, because I try, try, I'm just eating a bit of the cheese. I do, I actually love mozzarella. I can't get enough of the stuff.
So, I mean, that amount's decent enough. I mean, if you spread it out, then it should be... Sorry, all right. I probably won't be a good chef. Next one I do is I tend to fold this over, busly, times that by two. I'll we'll put this on top and I'll send that to the toaster. Just bear with me when I when I just put the toasties in the toasty bags. All I tend to do is lay them flat and um, say like like that. Bear with me. And then just just I'm just going to slide this in and this is. So this is what you do, you tend to slide it in and then sort of make sure it doesn't slide too much. Just grab this of cheese and eat it. Just move Uncle Ben out of the way. Just for a moment. Again, sorry if the bags are gross. While these are toasting, I'm going to try and get a plate and prepare my olives and other bits and bobs. What I tend to do is I get a spoon, like this. I tend to just like dig the olives out of the jar and then tip them out. I'll just drop one, which is all right, because I can eat that. Oh. One thing you have to remember as well, makes all this extractor fans on. These tend to steam up. Next off, I, am. Um, Put the rosemary and onion and sausages. I tend to have two of these bad boys, so they can go there. Put these away, and that put the cheese away while you add it, and then the fins. Just put. What I tend to do is the two fins left. Just put them into the corner. Fully wrap this up and you've got yourself a food bag here. I'll be tomorrow. These are picks. These are the picks in so they can go in there. You don't don't panic if the, you swallow the picks. They're not poisonous so that's fine. Well what else do I need? I forgot. Oh I need the cracker bread, so I just need to fetch that. I'm just going to... Ooh, the toast is really making a noise now. That's worrying. <laughs> that goes off and... Oh, here we are. Toasties are out now. So... And also I wanted to show you how I spread me pate, but... I may as well, just give me a moment. So this is what I've got so far. Um, just move out of the way. I'll take the toasties out now to cool. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. Sorry, just bear with me. Ow. Nasty. Now, it might be better to get a different knife but I'm gross so I'm gonna use the same one because I'm lazy just take two of these or you can have as many as you want but yeah only open the um, pate up I've had some before I know it's a bit gross but trust me it's delicious Oddly enough, when I first tried this, I um, wasn't too keen on it, but after a while it tasted nice. Same with the butter, just take a dollop of this, um, just, I know there's a, quite a bit on there, but 
just basically just spread it round and then slowly just take some of it off and then we can use what you got here and put it on the other crack of bread. Uh, so here we go. Um, now it's a bit mess. I'm gone. That's nice. Could make a mukbang out of this, but. I don't want to make this gross. I'm not that. I'm not a big fan of mukbangs, if I'm honest. It's sure. The sound of people eating is fascinating, but. Come on, let's be real. Is it something you want to watch? Trust me, this will not be like. The card over card those videos. But well, anyway, that, I don't know what to think about that dude, to be honest with you. Well, hey, it's his life. I'm not judging. All right, um, this is my meal for dinner. Um, I took the liberty of having a cleansing palette, so um, this out the way. Just sign for it. Put some. Ju I'll put some juice in that. And then, um, I'm not eating these, by the way. I'm not an idiot. Here's my yoghurt. It goes with said dinner. I'm going to get a fork, and I'll be back with you shortly. All right, um, got my fork here. All right, um, I got me a fork. Spoon. Sorry, this, this table was messy before and um, moving some stuff. Um, just grab me juice and have that. While well, there's still a bit of battery power left, I may as well just end it with me trying me food. I've got a weird system. Whenever I watch YouTube, I always eat the dark food first. And whenever I watch TV or Netflix, I usually have... Um, the light food next. No, it probably doesn't matter as such, but you know, got a CD and all that. So first off, I always eat the cheese toasties first because I don't like that to go cold. Mm. See, this is really nice. It's the nice. It's the grease inside the actual cheese. The blend of the melting mozzarella, what makes this so really nice, and it sort of oozes the the olive spread oozes out of the toasty. I know if you, mm. this is a bit of a mukbang, so it's my first one. Yeah, so you've got the stretch of the mozzarella. If you guys don't want me to do a lot of mukbangs, um, I don't have a problem with that. Just basically, like I said, I'm not that much of a mukbang person, but... Oh, yes, that's nice. Second toasty. I couldn't call this a grilled cheese because it's not really been grilled, it's been toasted. Hence the term, hence the term toasty. <clears throat> the grease coming out of the olive spread is really what puts the icing on the cake and the irony of the fact that there's no cake. So there's all that lovely Grease oozing out here. I'm not going to do food challenges because, I mean, no offence, but I've seen how Bird meets food and Randy eats. It's like, I mean, the food they eat, it's like 
How how could you eat that? I could burn. This stuff makes me full. Nowadays, I used to be able to eat like a king when I was younger. Look. My mum didn't want me to, like, get fat, so I'm like... Well, since, like, lockdown, I've sort of been eating, like, healthier. And do you know what? I think it's worth it. You should really be eating healthier as well. I'm going to do how Markiplier eats his tackies. The olives... Especially the crack olives. They're really juicy. They're sweet and like they're properly juicy. Morrison's ones are fine. The pitted ones, but this this is gold rich stuff. I'm looking at gold right here. Literal gold. That's just how good it is. I mean, let's face it, you only live once. Of course you do, but I had a lucky escape. I love pizza. I love burgers. I love fast food. But there's a limit. Even back then, I knew the limit. I didn't go eating bucketfuls of chicken wings or something like that. Um... So yeah, I mean, I had a saying in my head, wealth is not health, health is wealth. Those are my wise words. Also, because you're in lockdown, you don't, don't mean you could eat takeaway every day. This is gold. This is what you're missing out on. Sure, pizza. Awesome, but... These olives are the creme de la creme of... Olives. Crespo. Crespo is the way to go. Not creme brulee. This is creme brulee. This, this stuff here. Well, cook yourself. This is creme brulee. No. Everyone can agree with me on this. It's like a copper cab. It's another dude. It's like... Think of avocado... The Cardo Avocado and Copper Cab. They're two YouTubers who... Well... I don't show a copper cab a YouTuber or just a, a Twitch streamer, but with them two, I don't know whether to like him or hate him. For copper cab, I don't know whether his whole thing's an act or it's real, but I just don't know whether to feel sorry for him, laugh at him. It's you, you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. You ever got to a stage where you're so fickle with people, you just like. What do I do? Do I like him? Do I not like him? Do I find him funny? Do I not find him funny? Save with the card over card. So his his personality is funny. I know that is the way he speaks, but it's what it's about that's the problem. The whole I've seen pictures of Nicard Avocado when he's skinny. I'm like I look I can't think it was, it was a PewDiePie video. I can't remember, but. I'm having some other YouTuber, but. Back then. He was very thin. And then he started doing mukbangs, so that was part of his video. He's eating, like, constant takeaway food from. 
Wendy's or Nando's and Chickadee, something like that. I don't know. Tim Hortons. All your foods aren't healthy. All I'm saying is, that kind of weight isn't good. My mum can back me up on this. You have your choices. I have my choices. Hitler had his choices. Michelin had his choices. As a, as a human, as a society of human beings, we... We make choices. We make good ones. We make bad ones. We make evil ones. We make overly good ones. But most importantly, we're independent. I'm down to my last olive. So I'm going to move on from there. Anyway, I just looked at my phone. My battery's going low, so I've got to get on with this. Anyway, moving on. I just got There's these, um... Rosemary and red onion sausages. I always find that these taste like mince... Um... Uh, not mince meat, but stuffing. You know, like the same stuff you stuff in a turkey and then... Well, that's what it tastes like. This is why I like these. Because it tastes like stuffing. Yeah, I mean... This sort of food is just as good as takeaway. This is good. I was tend to sandwich them together, but I usually have these with me packed lunch. And when well, I go out for hikes, I tend to like sandwich these together. And sometimes they do go a bit stale. Well, not stale, but they go soft, but it still tastes good. Um, again, I'm sorry if this is so gross. Oh. I've been... If you've seen me video about my... Mally, uh, Sally Mae hoodie, me Charlie and Alistair hoodie, me Striker hoodie, and then me Serpentis one, then I've been wearing them hoodies every week. I tend to change my clothes. Well, I do change my clothes more. Every now and again, if I'm out gardening or something, I wear different clothes, and then... I change my jeans to be walking trousers when I'm out walking. Mm. So then there's this ham. This is from Aldi. Mm. I'm not eating a lot of this because, um, for one thing, I'm not going with this, though, but I got to lose weight anyway, so. I tend to like suck out the pips a bit more and then all the remaining. Olive that's on there can go. Next up, finally, toffee hoops. Core yogurt. I might make a video on different yogurt flavours in the future. But just uh, warn you, this might 
seem a bit gross. See, my favourite is strawberry shortcake. This is my second favourite flavour. When I was young, I used to like. This is these big, um, more light yogurts. I usually, I usually love the strawberry ones. Hopefully, if this kind of this fun is going to last just a little bit longer, I can just show you. I just turned the extract farm because I forgot to do that. See, corny, the corny yogurt is a Muller brand as well. But this isn't the flavour I have, but this is what I used to have when I was young. Muller light, strawberry, that's what it was. I used to love eating this and taking all the yogurt off the sides. I actually even licked the sides when I was young, I remember that. Um... I'm not going to eat this because this has been mum's, but um, it's just, I just bought it as an example. I could never do a food challenge. Because one thing, not good for your health. Second, um, I never win them. Third off, pointless. Some, we all make choices in our lives. Some good, some bad, some evil, some not so evil. Not so, well, God's opposite to evil, but I mean. That's it for this video. <clears throat> I stand by my word when I said to, well, not directly in person, but to this message to Ricardo. I'm being serious. Just no, you got you do what you want, dude. Just. Well, I mean, whatever you know, it's just your choice. But I recommend you just don't. Do, just at the state you're in, anyway. At the state you're in, just think about what you're doing. I don't know whether you're telling the truth about your disability or not, because that was that was the thing I wasn't too sure when I saw the other videos. But just. I mean, if your ribs are hurting, I'm sorry to hear that. Just sort them out, sort them out, and just take a break from mukbangs. I mean, what I don't know anything about how this making money on YouTube works, but just at least do something different with YouTube. Like, I'm buy clothes, buy exotic clothes, or and talk about them like I do. I don't think what you look like, man. Just, just think about what you're doing. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Click on the links down below. And um, click on the notification bell. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.